Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, I'm going to do the bigger one tonight, but I have added, I've subtracted a color and added two colors. So we still have um, the turquoise mix. And then to that, we added the um, Modern Masters in Venetian blue. And this is a combination of full cart color, um, color shift in flash white, flash silver. I put a little bit of decor enchanted in it and a touch, just a touch of titanium white so that it would hold. This is Modern Masters and this is in um, Iridescent Pearl. And to that, I have added the Golden High Flow in Pearl, Iridescent Pearl. So, oh, this is a 20 by 20 canvas. I have taped it, I have sprayed the back, I have put the furniture, um, what do you call these? Furniture levelers there. Oh, let me get you in there not crooked hopefully <laughs> and I have my um, deco art satin enamel white mix this is the cloud mix up I put the um, recipe in the description we're just gonna flood the canvas I did a test tile on this and it really turned out pretty, but <laughs> somehow tiles are smaller and they always come out prettier <laughs> and they never, they never turn out exactly the same. Of course it, ne it never would anyways, but um, yeah, I'm going to try it. Um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I've got lots of paint on the table here. So, let's grab some, there we go. And come back. You want to stretch this out quite a bit. Oh, and I'm seeing some up there that I missed. So we're stretching, stretching, stretching the paint. Oh, I see Cooper. I thought I saw that going in. coming down. Um, this is a 20 by 20 canvas. It needs 16 ounces of paint. I put about 15 because it is a quite a bit of a um, thinner mix. If you have a um, thicker paint, you need more paint for the canvas. If you have a thinner paint, you need less paint. And I'm just going to make sure all the sides are done. Yes, they are. I'm going to torch this real quick. How's everybody doing tonight? All right. So I'm going to start with the pearl. And the silver. and the deep blue and the turquoise. All right, let's stretch this baby out. Which way do I want to go first? I'll go this way. Okay. Yeah, I'll go this way first some of that color on the corner. come 
back. And I'm gonna turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, there's still a lot of paint on here. I'm gonna get some of that silver off the side here. And then pull it back again. It did something really cool on the tile. Mind you, it was a tile, it wasn't a canvas. Sometimes things, they just go differently on, on tiles. Getting some cells down there. And I'm going to pull it back this way now. Oh, I see another goober. I hope it does what I what it did on the tile. Still got a lot of paint on it. You gotta stretch the bajibas out of these to get the reactions you want. And I'm going to come back this way and get some of this nastiness off. Oh, the weight of the paint's not there though. See, a lot of these are metallics, so sometimes they sell, sometimes they don't. And I've got, well, I've got my, there we go. Pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh, I see another one. Another couple of them. Oh, they're stuck on here. There's a lot of silver on there now. <sighs> Wanted to stretch it back anyway. Oh, dear Lord. There we go. Slippery fingers. I don't know if this is gonna work out, we'll see. I never give up on these, especially like when you get stuff like this there. I don't address um, because they change so much, hopefully. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to put you on time lapse and let you see what happens here. Let's try and push this up this way a bit. That is stretched to the limit. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing much. Um, we'll see. Um, let me see here, there we go. All right, I'm gonna put you on time lapse.
All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how I save my um, table scrapes. I just take one of these, which I don't even know where I got. I'll find that out and maybe link it in the description. And I just pull everything over to the edge of my table. And I have my, my um, slop bucket here. Just pull this over so you can see what I'm doing. And then I just scrape it right into the slop bucket. Now you might think, oh, but what about the floor? Well, everything's going in the bucket, so that's good. But what I do is I go to Aldi's and pick up a really cheap little um, rug and put it down there. And uh, when it gets too full of paint, I go and get another one. So they're only like four bucks or something, five bucks maybe. And uh, not that I need to save my floor because everything here in the studio is meant to be messy. So um, yeah, there we go. And that's all I do. Ta-da! And then I just wipe this down. Just wanted to give you a little show. Oh, and while I'm at it, this is the dried result to the other piece I did the other day. And a little bit of splitting on the paint, but I think I can fix that. It's not bad. Um, I don't know. I, well, I think it might have been a little bit unlevel too, because it tends to go this way. But I really like it. I do. And um, I'll show you how to fix those wonky little cells and a little bit of the, um, the splitting on uh, another video. And obviously, there was a bug <laughs> I had to get out. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll be back in a few. Uh, am I in frame? I think I am. I'm in love with this. Those iridescent colors in the flash, the color shift by Folk Art, the flash um, silver mixed with the flash white. It's it kind of melted in with the other colors and created some really cool effects. Kind of happy about that. Now the silver didn't do what I really wanted it to do which was kind of create like a, a webbing or some really cool icing, but it's not bad. Um, yeah. And I did some swooshes. Actually, I was thinking about calling this swoosh. It's just all swooshy. Look at this. Moving, it, moving the camera around here so you can see the iridescence in it. Oh, I'm making you sick. Sorry. Dizzy. <gasps> that would be a bug. Yeah. <laughs> and pearls galore. They kept their shape real nice, too. And another swoosh over here. Kind of adds some interest, actually. I'm liking that. And then I did a little bit of blowing out with this, this straw right there, which is kind of cool too. A little bit of everything in this piece. And some embellishments. And there, and there. That is just, ooh, yummy. I wonder what it's gonna look like when it's dry. All right, guys. Um, I had fun tonight though. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now. All of my artwork is available for sale. If you see a piece you'd like, you can contact me at gcfluidart at gmail.com. Talk to you later. Bye.